Tom, what a lovely day, bud. Rainy and sunny, but nice and bright. Thanks very much. You sound like Thomas Schaffernacker. Thank you very much indeed. Who's Thomas Schaffernacker? <laughs> Hello there, good morning. Welcome back to Fauna. Written all over it for the third time this week. After seven wins on the spin, it's always going to feel a little deflating after a nil-nil on a Tuesday night away from home. Oh, it's a long trip, Tom, but worth it. Get home one o'clock in the morning. Well worth it. I think it was actually a little bit later than that. We're rounding off this month with a trip to the Ding and the Select Car Leasing Stadium. We're off to the Ding, Tom. Thank you for your company once again. It's so great to have you with us. Another opportunity for us to express our gratitude. We are, I think, in tantalizingly close territory when it comes, and with Regards to 15,000 subscribers. Well, how far are we away, Tom? How far, we're about half an hour away from no, the ground. No, how far are we away from 15,000 <laughs> subscribers? Just over 100. Oh, subscribe, Tom. Fortnite Sunday Live is back this weekend. Myself, Gaz, Barney, Retro Shirt, Sean and Little Reese will be back on your screens at 7 o'clock to so come and join us. I am also on the controls of T-Lock this weekend too, so plenty of content coming your way. The Select Car Leasing Stadium, or more broadly, commonly termed as the Medeski. Not a great place to be right now. Five straight Great league defeats more broadly, nine losses from their opening 13 games. There's of course plenty of ongoing off-field issues, I believe there's a march planned for today as well. An opportunity to score a handful today. As a consequence, this could be a slippery banana, Tom. 25 unbeaten, Reading on a really bad run of form. We all know how this one normally ends, yes, don't we? Yes, of course we yes. do. It's time we started finished putting away our chances. It's high time for a 4-0 written all over it. Come on, boys. Big day for Terry Devlin. Yeah, I think if you really look into his performances, he hasn't really put a foot wrong. He's helped out with a lot of crucial moments of the game. I think he deserves a chance. League debut? A full league debut? Full league debut. Yeah, I, I rate it. 3-1, Bishop for two and shock me see. I'm expecting a win just like every Pompey fan is, but you know what this is like. Look at Tuesday, we went into it thinking we're going to win, but... 3-1. 2-0. We're either going to take advantage of their ambiguity. Oh, that's a big word. You're welcome. Or they're going to be all like, oh, we've got stress going on. We're going to have to like pull together and they'll like sneak a win somehow. I'm just excited to be here, to be here with you, to be here with the rest of the crew. And uh, I just love it. I just love it so much. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, 
That's the ball. Absolutely mental. That was chaotic, wasn't it? You kind of can't even really sum it up. I fancied it even when they went 2-0 up. I thought it was on a break twice, didn't they? Fantastic finish from Tino, by the way, who's having the game of his life. Terry Devlin does not look like he's on his first league debut today, by the way. I thought he's been absolutely excellent. Paddy Lane on the far right-hand side as well. Devlin and Morel just stretch it a little bit. The game's very narrow. It's a big pitch. When you commit a Reading winger, by and large, it's quite easy for either Sparks or Rafty to get a ball in. We're not doing as much of that. Limbs. Yeah, I nearly broke my leg on the stairs. Yeah. Worst 20 minutes I've seen a John Messino Pompey side play. Worst first opening 20 minutes. When Regan and Shotnessy are pushing so high, you are susceptible to giving Sam Smith the opportunity to miss a sitter as he did. That is the one concern, isn't it? It's Absolutely amazing romantic. how in the time they spent throwing tennis balls on the pitch, Pompey scored the equaliser through Colby Bishop. How the turns table. Funnily enough, that's the first time we've gone 2-0 down in any game under Messino. I was thinking, how are we going to react to it? Just like all season long, Carrick. To believe. Uh, you have to. You knew one goal was going to make a difference, and it did. Just speed up a little bit. It's a bit slow. It is quite slow, but patient may be the word we should use. Colby again. Colby's ended up in it away once it's come in from, from Paddy. And cue Bedlam over our right shoulders. Absolute limb boy primers up there. Hey. Fantastic to get back into it. We're drawing level, and I think in the second half we're going to go on and win it. 3 2 by the end of the game, I reckon. Up the blues. What are you doing? Yeah.
only is it 26, 26 undefeated. Six. Not only is it that, Pompey have just gone the entirety of British summertime undefeated as well. That's probably, and you could see from the full time scenes, those boys knew they had to dig in today. And to go 2 0 down as quickly as we did with all the circumstances surrounding it, some of the best scenes I've seen in an away end as well. When that third one went in, bedlam all around us, and you've just seen it. It was absolutely fantastic. Nothing less than Pompey deserved today. I thought we were absolutely exceptional. To dominate as we did away from home, which we keep doing this season, the most character we've shown and probably the best win of the John Messino era, I think. You know when we talk about what's going to happen, what's the reaction going to be when we lose a game or when we go still enough goals down. Out, We're still waiting to find out, but when we go enough goals down for it to kind of hang in the balance a little bit, I think you got your reaction right there from the players. I think you saw the emotion from the boys down on the pitch and the boys and girls up in the stands at full time. That one meant a lot. You have to admit that this team is different. This is different gravy. This is a different team compared to other seasons. We would have finished 2-3-0 any other season. Not this season though. Devlin was excellent today. In fact, they are all excellent today. It was a great team effort. They knew their duties. They were up for it second half because they knew that being sloppy in the first half cost us each time. I also got to give a special mention to Tino today. Absolutely superb along with Devlin. Those two man a match for me. Three points, still top of the league. Six points clear now. Up the Blues. Love it. And I don't think we made it a particularly comfortable finish as a result of not scoring the chances we had. And I was worried we may well go on to rue one of the chances that we did miss. But we didn't. Six points clear at the top of League One, Andrew. How does that feel tonight? It feels absolutely brilliant here in the rain in Reading. So let's get out of here and get home with them three points and enjoy the evening time. Let's do just that. Fall Ritten Library does not stop here for the weekend. We're back tomorrow night. Reese is on 4 0 Sunday Live. Cannot wait. Cannot wait as well. But we're straight back to it next weekend for the visit to Paul Cook's Chesterfield. But until all of that comes, just want to say one final thing, which is thank you for sticking with us right to the end of this. Hope you've enjoyed the scenes. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm sure you have done. We've loved bringing it to you. Keep the faith, and as always, play out Pompey. Play out Pompey. Go south, there's a team down there. Go south.